Oh. Oh. We were gonna have that kind of some sort of script. All right. Okay. How's it going? <laughs> okay. This is our first video, so bear with us. Uh, my name's Gabriel, but I go by Dave. This is Juriel. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, just like different random videos on uh, food reviews, um, our takes and on trends and headline news and, and stuff like that. So we figure we'd start off our first video with the blast from the past. And I'm basically going to let my daughter try all the candies that I used to love as a kid and see how her reaction is. And I'm just going to tell you, I know what they taste like because I've had them before, but she hasn't. So we're going to be going through different... Uh, Believe it or not, I, I'm, I'm Hispanic, so we grew up, I grew up in a Mexican west side of the city, and we had a bunch of little Mexican candies that we had when we were growing up, so we're going to try those out, and and we're going to uh, give our, our, our take on it. Probably like a scale of 1 to 10, or basically if we can bear it enough to eat it all. If it's palatable. So, we're going to start off with, do you recognize these? Chinese candies. They're basically Chinese plums. And uh, they are dried, and then they are heavily salted. Oh, okay. Not so show the camera what that looks like. It's a little nugget. I'm already coughing. Okay. It's a little nugget, a little, little like a, I mean, it doesn't look like something you'd want to eat. It looks like something you'd probably find on the ground. Ew. But we're going to go ahead and try it. That's I recommend just taking a little bit. Mmm. Mm. Super salty. Some people don't eat them by themselves. But they're so salty, but they are addictive. Mm, My brother know. buys these by like the 10 pound bags. But I recommend shoving this in a big pickle <laughs> and eating it like that. Mm. Oh my God. All right. I give all these a 10 because they were candies when I ate. What do you say? Uh, that's like a, a five. Because I, I don't know if I can eat that whole thing. It's really salty. It's really salty. But they're good and it's a staple growing up. All right. These candies are so like... Salty or spicy that they boost your immune system, okay? There's no scientific backing on that. But. <laughs> All right, I think next we should try, oh my goodness, chamoy. Now, you'll probably see these as a topping in like a mangonada or sometimes they have them in piccadillies and different other treats. So what we used to do is we used to suck it right out of the pack. And I remember the packs being bigger than this. They were like twice or three times the size of a little bitty pack. They come in different flavors. But we went with the original, so I'm going to put a little bit on your finger. See, I've had this on like, I don't know if it's the exact thing, but it's too much. I've had that. it on the mangonada. Oh, See, that is not. That's got a little kick to it. And it's, uh, it's kind of like gooey, like a slime. But like I said, people put this on stuff, like anything from ice cream to mangonada to stuff like that. I like it. It's good. And this isn't the exact flavor we had. Ours was a little darker. I wasn't expecting it to taste oh. like that. Because the stuff that I've had... It tastes a little different, but this is still pretty good. It's basically like a plum uh, pulp. They just smash it up. And, like, the ingredients on these things aren't very, like, extensive. It's just, like, salt. Radioactive and, liquid. <laughs> and pulp. No. And chile. And that's about it. Probably, like, a, a red number five or something like that. That one's pretty good. I like that one. What do you think? It's a seven. It doesn't taste like the chamoy that I've had before, but it is good. I eat it. All right, this one. I'm pretty sure y'all seen these before. They come in different flavors, usually watermelon and mango. And this is a. Uh, it says Fire Kid Sandia, Sandia, which is Spanish for watermelon, watermelon. And these are packaged a little different though. But let's let's open this up to show you what it looks like. I got my trusty blade here. All right, so here, I mean, this thing is pretty terrifying if you've never seen it before, because it's basically like a candy, like a jolly, oh, it's so gummy. deformed. And it's got like chile and like probably tamarindo on it. It's all pasty. Hey, that one's yours. <laughs> what? Damn. Oh, it's a gummy. I what the heck? You're already biting it in. I didn't well, even get mine out yet. <laughs> I thought it would be the lollipop because I've had the lollipop, but it's not. Oh, like yeah, this one's kind of like a gummy. I thought it was going to be the hard candy one, but it's okay. We'll try it. We'll try it's it. It's not even the shape on the package. Mm. That's so, yeah. good. It's got some kick to it because of the tamarindo spice, and it's got chili powder on it. But that's good. I give that a 10. Yeah, that's a 10. These are good. 
Well, you probably would give it a nine because you probably are going to get something that tastes better than oh. this. So. Don't just start okay. shooting tens nine. off the wall <laughs> irresponsibly. Good. And the only people are going to buy these and think, oh, wow, they said it was a ten and it's like a seven. Oh, no. Okay. That's good, though. I, I can eat this one. The hard candy one is smothered with chili mm -hmm. powder. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm a wuss, and I'll go put it under the sink water and take <laughs> off some of the powder because it's too spicy, that. and I'll eat it like that. This is good. I'm going to finish this after the camera, though. I can't do it now because it takes a long time to eat. It's so already here. gone. Yeah, she's already finished hers almost. <laughs> All right. We got two more left. Uh, we're going to go with this one. <coughs> it came in a long sleeve. Look at that. Never ending. It's like one of those ammunition belts they wear in the movies. And they're, um... As a costume? Like... Yeah, this thing was only like a dollar ten too, for like all of them. That's the thing about Mexican candy. Most of the time it's real cheap. Alright, here we go. Let's see. What does it say on there? You said. Um, that's a lot of Spanish. Um... Come on. Wow. You're half Spanish. I don't know how to... I don't have an accent. La Vaquita? Oh my god. <laughs> Lava Quita. That is not Lava Quita. It's Lava Quita. Oh. Lava Quita. I think that translates to baby cow. I don't know. Oh, geez. But here it is. Hey, and it's basically that? like, I think it's just like caramel. That's what I thought. I'm still chewing the first one. Alright, it's stuck in my teeth. You should oh. have had like a water as like a palate cleanser. I mean, it's I'm, fine. I'm just chewing it. Oh my god. This isn't supposed to be ASMR, so. <laughs> if you have headphones, I'm sorry. It's very juicy. Ew. All right, here we go. You take a look. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember. It's basically just like a hard caramel lollipop. And they're good. And they have different versions of them, and some of them are creamier than others. Mm -hmm. This one's a good one. You can't go wrong with this one. I'm pretty sure you can melt some of these down and put it on an apple, like a candy apple. Oh. But um, these are good. That's like a, a seven. That's really A good. seven. She's, she's rating like, everything pretty high, so. I like caramel. You can't go when wrong. When you go it. try it, you're going to be like, what the heck was she talking about? <laughs> like, all right. And here's the last one. And this one is very, very like, uh, I mean, you'll probably see these in different shapes and sizes and colors, but this one's very like pro Mexican flag. Look at that. <laughs> it's got red, white, and uh, green, and it's a coconut bar. I don't think we're going to open both of them, though, because okay. it's pretty, they're it's pretty solid. dense. They're this large. thing, like, you could probably build a small building out of them, and they'll sustain, like, a, <laughs> a small uh, tornado. I would be safe to live in that, other than eating it. All right? And it's made out of coconut and, and dyes, so we're going to cut a couple pieces here. These are gonna... bare hands. Oh, that's so oh, dense. That's dense. Good God, look at how it that... broke off. It's so dense. Look at that. Okay. Let me see what the ingredients piece. are. Let's see the ingredients. They're, they're usually pretty simple. Like, there's usually only three or four ingredients. Oh, my God. Wait, this is small writing, though. It says uh, preservatives, yellow. See, yellow number five. It's got potassium sorbate, plywood, concrete. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's mainly coconut, though. It's basically it's, coconut. It's I'm a little suspect that this, this piece right here, though. That piece looks a little suspect, so I'm going to eat that first. That is really hard. Okay, I shouldn't have eaten that first <laughs> because it does not taste like, hold on. It doesn't, that one was like, it tastes like the, the plywood I said earlier. So let me get another piece that looks more coconutty. See, it's pretty chewy. It's dry as heck. Like, you're going to need some agua. Some water some because yeah some horchata <laughs> it's funny you have to get all ethnic when you say words like that mexican words you can be ordering something like let me get some tacos <laughs> but then the moment you get to something like real ethnic you got to use your you know you're within mexican you got to go margarita con tequila but it's good i like this i mean it would probably take you a month to eat this though it's so dense so it's good though. It's just like shredded it's coconut. Just coconut. It's just shredded coconut basically, but it, it's got a little something other other in there, some other stuff in there. 
And it's just coconut candy. But this is like the traditional stuff. You can buy these in different shapes and flavors and stuff. That's like a, a five, because it's not like super flavorful, but it's a good snack. I mean, if you want to lose weight, I recommend eating that because it takes you so long to eat it. <laughs> By the time you're done, you'll be like from breakfast to lunch. And um, it takes a lot of uh, energy to chew it. It's like almost like when cows are out in the pasture, they're all, <laughs> you're chewing on their cud. But anyways, this is about what you're going to expect on our videos. We're going to have uh, different reviews. We're going to do different types of candies, foods. Um, I know we're going to go to the Asian market and um, get some stuff on there that we've never tried before. We're going to go strictly based off the pictures because we can't read it. Um, oh. <laughs> and then we're also going to do like trending news and stuff and our takes on different things that are happening in the world. Um, mainly the highlights and also maybe some news that you didn't hear about that we have a take on. But that's basically what you're going to expect. And I hope you can subscribe so you can get some more news. Um, in the background we have one of my daughter's crafts here. It's a long Furby. Yeah. So it's, if you recognize the face, it's a Furby face. And she basically made this whole thing. Yeah. It, I, I don't know how long it took her. It's got like these little feet. Took me like an But she sells these, so if y'all want to get one. It took me like f to an hour to make the this part. It's pretty fluffy. She still has to add like a spine in there to make mm -hmm. it poseable. But she makes these in different sizes and colors. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested, you can just uh, drop us a comment. Also, she has her own channel mm -hmm. called... Uh, it's just my first name. It's just Doriel, and I do ukulele covers, and I'm going to be posting a video of my process of making that pretty soon. And I also have an art channel where I just do art and animations. So. Right, and then she's also set up on um, Instagram and, and just Instagram. No, you don't have the other one. The, what other one? Etsy or what is it called? Etsy? Oh, Etsy. Etsy is where I sell those. Etsy and Instagram. Link in the description. So yeah, we'll put a link in the description. But we appreciate you watching, and it's been probably like three minutes. And I'm still chewing the coconut, <laughs> so I'm almost losing weight as I eat it. It's like one of those zero foods like celery, so I recommend it if you're on a diet. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.